What is going on you guys, it is Will here again, and wow, I have not filmed in this location for two years now. Almost three, I think. Wow, this place is all dusty because of that. <laughs> Which is crazy, because so I walk by this location every day. Yeah, my room is uh, just down the hall there. But anyways, you guys know the drill. Whenever this spot is being filmed, you know there's a review coming. So today we're having a look at the 2000 Ultra Monster Series Gomera. <laughs> I'm just kidding you guys This is the Ultra Monster series the 2000 release of Gomera whereas this one This is a custom. This is a custom painted figure based off of this figure And what I mean by that well Well to put it in simple terms. This is the original figure and This one is painted this is actually the 2007 repaint figure. You know, that one that comes with the lighter brown color. It looks really ugly. Yeah, that this was that figure. And I had both of them just lying around one day. And I said, you know what? I don't like this guy, so I'm going to I'm gonna go paint him. I want him to look like, you know, this one over here. Cause I've always saw this one as the superior figure of the Showa Gomera. So, um, one day I was out and I got paint for this guy because... This guy was, he was looking really bad, you know, his nose horn was very scuffed up. He had no paint on his toes and no paint on his claws. And I figured, you know what, I gotta, I gotta touch this guy up somehow. So I talked to a YouTube user, uh, Kyle, or as you guys probably know him, Deadzilla. Um, I saw a video of his, of him showing off his uh, custom figures. And I'll link that video in the description so you guys can watch it as well. And I decided to hit him up one day on his Facebook page. And he got back to me in a couple hours and he told me what kind of paints to buy, uh, what kind of brushes to use, you know, each brush, you know, depends on how big of a job you need. So then I went out to the store and I picked up some paints and I tried, you know, touch this guy up, try to match the paint to, I tried to match the paint to what the figure was originally as best as possible. Uh, the nose horn, I made a slightly lighter color. I just think it looks better, especially with the, uh, um, lighter color for the toes. And this, you know, this originally was a, a yellower color, so I painted it a more whiter color based off of a newer figure I have. So yeah, so then once this guy was all touched up and painted, I saw my repaint one. I figured, you know what, since I have these paints here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna repaint this guy because I don't like how it looks. So I picked up the paintbrush and I just began painting all over this dude. And you can tell it's the, it's the, it's the repaint because you can see here, there's some lighter colors on his arm that still has to be touched up and um, if you look in the tail you can see it's the lighter vinyl whereas with this one you see it's a darker vinyl so you know this is the, the legit figure or this one's you know painted and what do you guys think how do you think it turned out I personally think it turned out okay I mean the paint is a little too shiny and it's, to me it's a little too dark um, so maybe I'll go over that one in the future and um yeah, I uh, I painted everywhere on this dude because I, I really hated the lighter color that he was. Um, I painted his nose horn and his little tooth thing here white, same as the color as this one. Uh, the head crest I didn't paint. I just went with a really really thin brush to kind of get in between his little crest here. The eyes I think still need a little more work. Uh, I was they were a yellower color, but I wanted to paint them a little bit lighter to kind of match. The eye color of this one. Uh, the teeth I painted a lighter color, just slightly lighter. The claws are now the white color, same as this one. Toes, and yeah. Like I said, I think the paint came up. It's a little too dark and it's a little too, uh, a little too shiny. So maybe I'll have to, you know, get more, uh, more matte colors to kind of just go over and make him. A little bit lighter and a little more, you know, less shiny. Um, but anyways, um, yeah, I just wanted to show this off to you guys because, you know, I have made a video in a while, and I was, I, don't know, I was really, you know, surprised at how this turned out. I didn't ever think I was gonna make something. Uh, I, you know, I just didn't think I was capable of uh, painting something out like this. I thought I was gonna f it up so bad, but it actually turned out to be not too bad compared when compared to the original figure. So while editing this video, I completely forgot to mention um, 
what kind of paints did I use for these figures? What kind of paint did I use to complete this one? What kind of paint did I use to touch up this one? Well, the type of paints that I used were acrylic paints. So this was the brown color that I used to um, kind of touch up some paint scuffs on the original release of Gomera. And, um, in order, and this brown, it wasn't enough to paint this one. When I put this one on this figure when I was painting it, the brown looked like, it legit looked like poop brown. <laughs> so I took this paint and I mixed it with some black, and that's how I came up with this color here for the, uh, for the repaint figure. So it took a mixture of black and brown acrylic paint to come up with the brown for the body. The color of the nose horn is this paint right here for both of them. And the color for the nails and the claws in both of them is a mixture of these two acrylic paints. So yeah, I mixed these two together and then I came by and that's how I got this color here. Uh, the head crest I didn't touch up on at all really. I just kind of went over with the uh, red sharpie. That's crazy. And this one I didn't do anything to, I just painted in between the lines here. And then the last these the little tools. And these are the brushes that I would recommend you paint with. You see these are the ones really small bristles. Uh, for the, the so you gotta use a smaller brush for the details. Like for the head on this guy, I went with you know really thin brush like this one. And really small brush like this one. So if you're gonna, if you wanna do some figure customizations, I would definitely definitely recommend you use uh, smaller brushes so you can have more control. You don't want to use a really fat brush because then you'll just get a and it just looks really bad. You want to really pay attention to the details when you're customizing figures because you want you want it to you want it to turn out good. You want it to you want it to represent uh, what it's supposed to be. So yeah, um, size of the brush it really depends on how big of the job you have to do. That's all I'm gonna say about that. And. Yeah, there we go, you guys. Hope you enjoyed this little video uh, showcase here. It's not really, it wasn't really a review because I didn't review the figure or anything. But, um, yeah, I just hope you enjoyed the little showcase video. It was really fun to do. It was really fun to mess around with this one and just kind of, you know, change it up a bit. And I enjoyed doing it. Alright, guys. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little showcase, showcase video. And I hope to see you all soon. Thank you for watching.